Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss another problem from the binary search playlist and this problem is asked in the lead code weekly contest 212 problem 3 and uh, I thought to put this video in the binary search playlist because it's a good problem to understand and work upon. So let's start. The problem's name is path with minimum effort. You are given a hiker preparing for an upcoming hike. You are giving like you are given heights as you can see in a 2D matrix uh, in which the rows and columns is this. Now what you are given is you start from 0, 0, 0,0 index and you have to reach the last index the top left to the bottom right and then uh, what you can do from every block you can jump or you can move to any other direction up down left or right and you wish to find a route that requires the minimum effort. So now what is the roots effort? The roots effort is the maximum absolute difference in the height between two consecutive cells of the root. So you have to find out the minimum effort. So see I have already told you in binary search playlist if you have followed me along in this series whenever you see that maximum and minimum in the same question then it is a very good hint that this problem requires binary search. Okay. So now because you have to find out the maximum absolute difference and you have to minimize that value. So in such type of problem, mostly binary search is required like 90% I am not uh, like 100% sure but in most of the problems I have solved if you see uh, like maximizing and minimizing both in the same problem then most probably it's a binary search problem. Then as you can see in this problem let's understand with this example. Uh, if this is the grid you are given and if you start from this uh, like grid position and you have to reach this point now you can choose this path now if you take this path what is the difference between every two consecutive values in this as you can see this is 2 this is 2 this is 2 and this is 2 so the maximum is 2 along this path if you just take some other path as you can see if you just take like this this 2 okay so this is this uh, absolute difference is 1 this is 0 this is 0 but this path is 3 and you have to find out the maximum if you take this path though this is 1 and this is 0 this is even smaller but this is 3 which account to be a larger number in this path and thus this is the value and thus this path will give you a maximum difference of 2 of the consecutive elements and this path give you 3 so I hope you get the gist of how this problem is asking to solve the problem and now we can understand how to solve this. See first thing to realize in this is the maximum effort. Effort means that you have to jump. Let's assume that you start at this point. This is a tower of height 1. This is a tower of height 3. If you get some power let's assume that you have the power which is the effort of 2 which means that you can jump to a next tower in which the absolute difference or you can only jump when a difference between them is 2 ok so let's assume that you are on 1 and this is let's assume 5 if this is 5 then the difference between 1 and 5 is 4 so you cannot jump this because you have only a power of 2 you cannot jump this same if this is 5 and this is 1 you cannot jump over this because you only get the power to, to do a maximum jump over the difference of these two buildings of size 2 if this is so let's I also draw it out uh, let's assume that this is 1 this is 5 this is 3 okay now the difference between this is 4 and the difference between this is 2 okay now if you get the power of 4 now you can jump over this building from this to this and now if you jump over this building you can easily jump because if you are assuming that your power is 4 you can also jump over this building to this building because this difference is 2. If you have a power of 4 you can also jump over a building of 2 but you cannot jump over a building of 6. I hope you get the point because you can jump over a building of smaller uh, value because uh, this value is smaller and thus you can easily jump over this building from 5 to 3. Okay and also you can understand with this question if you take this route you have to take the maximum value which is the 4. Uh, and 2 so maximum value is 4 and thus over this route you have if you get the maximum value this will tell you the maximum jump you can get or maximum jump you will do along this path 
so if there is some path as you can see and if you find out the uh, difference between every two buildings then you can easily see that if you get the maximum value that maximum value will tell the maximum jump you can do and that maximum value will also tell you that if this is the maximum value i have i can also jump over all the other buildings because all the other values will be smaller than this value because this value is the maximum and thus if you just find out that i have the power of four if you do a binary search over the values so if you get the grid and if you do a binary search so my binary search means that okay if i have the power of three let's assume and i start at the starting index what is the farthest point or what are the values of what are the buildings i can reach so if these are the values as you can see i'll draw it out one two two one two two okay then three eight two three eight two and then five three five five three five okay now if you start at the starting point and let's assume that your power you assume that your uh, power to jump is five then what you'll do you'll start from the first index and mark or visit all the buildings which you can jump or actually has the difference of this building and the next building of less than equal to five so this is fine because the difference between them is one so you can jump you can jump from this to this you can visit this you can also visit this because difference between them is zero which is less than five you can visit this you can visit this so from this you can visit this or from this you cannot visit this but from this you can visit this because this is less than five so this is uh, this is two and this is like five so it's fine then you can also visit this so then uh, you can also visit this so it means that you will visit all the blocks you can visit from every other block and then in the end after like filling out this visited matrix you will check that whether the last value is visited which means that if you start from this can you reach the last value if you have this power if you have this power and if the last value is visited then okay Th maybe this value is fine but maybe i can do this in a little less power because i have to minimize the effort so i'll check with three now so maybe like i'm just doing a binary search over the values from uh, one till a very last number and to one nine okay and then i'll do the binary search for every value i'll check that okay if i take this power i'll do a binary search over this value and take this value as my power and find out whatever blocks i can visit if i start from this value and reach all other values and then i visited it and then after visiting i will check that whether my last block is visited if this is visited okay fine then this is fine then i will do a binary search that if this value is fine giving me the correct answer maybe the value which is smaller will also give the correct value so i will check that if this is not getting the value i will increment my pointer i'll go to the right side and that's the whole logic for this problem i'll take down to the code part now so this is the code as you can see the minimum value is 0 and the maximum is 10 to the 9 plus 2 because the maximum value is 10 to the 6 so that's why i've used it a very large value and then uh, this is n and m the dimensions uh, this is just the binary search standard uh, code i've used if you have followed along you can easily understand then for every uh, for every iteration i will find out the middle value over this power value this is actually giving me the power and then uh, uh, this uh, i'm just mem setting my visited value because matrix because for every iteration i have to fill this visited matrix again and again i have to check that after filling whether this last block is filled or not so that's what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna start this ok function which will fill starting from the starting uh, coordinate which is 0 comma 0 and fill out all the uh, like buildings i can reach and the end if the visited of n minus 1 m minus 1 is equal to 1 which means that after filling or using this ok function after filling this visitors matrix if my last block is visited then i will make my right equal to mid because this value is fine so i will make my right equal to mid else left equal to mid plus one if you have followed along my binary search playlist you can easily understand this i just written out left okay now how this vector ok function is working this is the directions because i can move in all the directions this is visited matrix to store out what are the buildings i can visit uh, this is just a standard dfs how we can do a dfs in which what we'll do if the current index is not visited i will make it visited in the matrix then this is just the dimensions you can also make them global i'm just uh, initializing it with this height i'm standing and then i will iterate over all the four directions so i can use this vector 
of all these directions to find out the new direction and if the new direction is inbound then it's fine if it goes out the bound we'll continue if it is inbound what we'll do we'll find out the absolute difference of the current value on which you are and the new value on which i will get if the absolute difference of them is less than equal to mid then only i will again recursively call my ok function with the new coordinate and thus i will fill or actually this just a dfs to fill all the values because from every node or from every block i will just do a dfs on all the values or all the blocks and just check that okay whether this is fine this is fine if this is fine i'll do the next just doing the dfs and thus filling out all the values if all the values after doing this okay function recursively calling again and again i will fill out all the values in this visited if it is visited i will not iterate over it if it is not visited such that i'm just using a memoization techniques you can assume such that i can i will not redo the calculations again and again if i have visited some block again and thus finding out the new coordinate and checking out if it is inbound if it inbound if the the consecutive block and the difference between this block and consecutive block is less than this mid value which i have told you in this explanation then we will recursively call this with the new value and that's the logic for this problem if you still haven't not mentioned now thank you for watching this video i'll see you next one keep coding bye